What's up guys, today I wanted to go over the differences between the twin traction beam suspension setup versus like an A-arm suspension type setup. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the twin traction beam uh, setup. And first off, the looks are completely different than the arms. You can tell you got these big beams sticking out here. And so, uh, so the ends of the beams are both connected to pivot points on the car. The driver's side beam is connected right there. Passenger side beam is connected right behind that, underneath. And, uh, and then you come around to the sides. And you have the radius arms, which pretty much supports beams from moving forward and backwards. So one time, I actually bent my frame a little bit, and right around here, so this was bent, changing the length of what this was, and this tire was pulled way, way back into the wheel well up here. So I, I couldn't even fit my fist in here, now I can. But that's what the radius arms will do. And what's cool about this, they are twin traction beams, so this is a full four-wheel drive system which gives me all that travel plus usable four-wheel drive out when I'm off-roading. If I come over here, this is a 2016 Chevy Tahoe. You have the A-arm setup. So you have a lower arm, and then I believe up there somewhere you have an upper control arm. You can kind of see it through here. And the shock just goes right down the middle. And on this, you have the coil right here. And then you actually have the bill scenes. They connect down onto the radius arm which is a lot different than this. You have your lower and upper arm, and it just connects. The shock just goes right through the middle. This is a coilover setup as well. And this is a cut and turn beam setup as well. Pretty soon I will get rid of those coils and the bilsteins, and I will have uh, king coilovers in the front, which will give it some more travel, and it'll handle a ton better. Yeah, there's a lot of controversy going around between the arms and the beam setups. Personally, I like the beams. I think A, they look cooler, B, they work a little bit better. And having beams with that amount of travel and still being able to use four-wheel drive is pretty cool to me. I, you know, you don't always need four-wheel drive if you're out pre-running in Barstow where it's flat and stuff like that, but it'll give you, it'll get you out of some situations if you're going mudding or going crawling. 